Aloha, I'm Kelly Nakahara, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, huge mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelists each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. According to the New York Times, former President Donald Trump plans to name Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and former Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard as honorary co-chairs of his presidential transition team. Gabbard, who left the Democratic Party after her 2020 presidential run, endorsed Trump on Monday and has been assisting with his debate prep. Kennedy, who recently ended his independent campaign and endorsed Trump, revealed that he will help select policies and personnel for a potential second Trump administration. Both Kennedy and Gabbard were once prominent Democrats, but have since aligned themselves with Trump's base. As Tropical Storm Hone moves away from Hawaii, two more cyclones, Hurricane Gilma and Tropical Storm Hector, are approaching, though their impacts may be less severe. According to the National Weather Service, this kind of activity is typical during the peak of hurricane season, which runs from June to November. Hurricane Gilma, currently about 1,100 miles east of Hilo, is expected to weaken before reaching the islands by Friday or Saturday, bringing increased rainfall and humidity. Tropical storm Hector, further out, is also expected to weaken as it approaches next week. Hawaii County continues to adjust power outages and flooding caused by Hone. A potential major hotel strike looms in Hawaii as over 5,000 Unite Here Local 5 workers prepare for what could be the largest hotel strike in decades. Bartender Rocky Higgins, a 30-year veteran at the Princess Ka'iulani Hotel, is among those who have authorized a strike at eight hotels across Waikiki and Kauai. Workers are demanding higher wages and better working conditions, saying they're struggling to keep up with inflation. If the strike moves forward, this would be the largest Local 5 strike since 1990, impacting Hawaii's tourism industry just as it recovers from the pandemic and Maui wildfires. Stay tuned for updates on StarAdvertiser.com. A tragic loss for Hawaii's law enforcement community as 32-year-old State Sheriff's Deputy Jordan J. Kagehiro was found dead in his residence on Monday. The Department of Law Enforcement reports that Kakehiro, a recent graduate of the law enforcement recruit class and a U.S. Army Reservist, had a promising career ahead. An unattended death investigation is underway, and officials are urging anyone feeling overwhelmed to seek support. Our thoughts are with Kakehiro's family, friends, and colleagues during this difficult time. Attorneys representing Maui wildfire victims are seeking a ruling from the Hawaii Supreme Court on a recent decision by Second Circuit Chief Judge Peter Cahill. This move is critical to finalizing a proposed $4 billion settlement involving defendants like Hawaiian Electric, the state, Kamehameha Schools, and Maui County. The ruling currently prevents insurance companies from directly pursuing these defendants for reimbursement, which is key to the settlement's success. If the Supreme Court upholds Cahill's ruling, it could pave the way for thousands of claims to be resolved. A hearing for this matter is scheduled for Friday. Head to the nearest 7-Eleven to find the new Coca-Cola Spice and new flavors for Rainstorm, Citrus Zest, Guava Strawberry, Mango, and Strawberry Apricot. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.